Okay, so uh, lesson number one, uh, Dave's just been explaining to me, because I come from a boxing background, about how um, it's not wise to use the uh, fist in a, a, a situation in the street encounter, because obviously if you break your hand, then you uh, basically negate the use of that, of that weapon, um, and instead using the, the heel of the palm. And what, what are the reasons was there for, for using that technique? Um, primarily, it, it, it's safety to yourself. You know, we've got a lot of padding on the palm. Yeah. And I'm sure we've all heard stories where people have punched someone and they said, I hit him so hard it broke my hand. Yeah. Um, chances are they hit wrong or they hit a, a strong bone structure, maybe the skull or something. But also it's the um, factor that if we've got to go on, you know, if you take my background in law enforcement, military, you cannot operate a weapon or handcuffs or a radio effectively if you've got a knackered hand, mm. you just can't do it. And therefore, you might survive this encounter, but the encounter 10 yards down the road could be fatal to you. Yeah. Um, but what it also does, it means that, you know, women, as an example, if we're going to be teaching women, they can't make a good fist because if they've got nails, you know, if they like the nails and stuff, the nails are going to dig into the hand, therefore they won't get a good closure on the fist. Yeah. And they're more inclined to, to damage. What it also does though is, if the police are involved in a situation and you have damaged the knuckles, that's evidence, you know, you will be photographed yeah. and the police will use that evidence against you probably. So we're limiting um, the damage to ourselves for the actual conflict, the encounter, but also limiting the aftermath, i.e. the police, if they get involved, we do not want to give them evidence yeah. that will link us to hitting somebody. Yeah. Um, because all they'll see is damaged hands and the state of someone you've just hit. So this is about keeping yourself safe. So we're assuming that we're in a situation where we, we can't evade the situation because, like I say, this is, this is not for us to attack people. This is purely, like I say, psychological self-protection. So uh, it's about me being in a situation where there's nothing else I can do but strike my opponent um, and, and, and strike them hard. And we're looking at what areas are, am I aiming for if it were the face? Um, ideally, we want to keep away from the mouth. So we don't want to hit someone square on right. because the damage to our hand With the teeth via and... the teeth, yeah. Yeah. So we want to go for the nose. Nose, yeah. Cheekbone. Yep. Or the jaw. Yeah. So jaw, they're right. the main sort of areas. Yep. And a lot of that will depend on the angle of attack. Yeah. You know, if I'm square on, I can easily strike to the nose. Yeah. If I'm slightly off at an angle, I can easily strike to the cheekbone or the jaw. Brilliant. So main things keep away from the mouth yeah great okay so i'll assume straight on um going for the nose in this one yeah good nice and again good and again nice and again it's really I, I tell you what i get from the technique is transferring it from boxing i thought i'd lose power with the the heel but you don't it's actually in, in some ways it, it feels probably more explosive it, it's a really good simple technique because defensively you know we put palms up yeah. to form a barrier and keep people away so we're used to putting a the palm there naturally. So would you be able to show me that one with the palm up and then the strike from the keep away? And if I just swap the nose, yeah, sure, yeah. show, me, show me that one because I think that's that'd be something that people would like to see. So in that situation, okay. it would be. Um, I can either go from relaxed or from a, a, a fence or a guard. Those people who are watching who know about Jeff Thompson and even Matty and other people that do fence on guard, you know, we can go from here quite easily. However, the fence is. Yeah. And, and strike through from hands being up. Yeah. Or we can even go from that relaxed, non-threatening. Yeah. To being explosive and moving in. And and it come, you can feel the power coming right through there. And you, and you you took a step there as well. Yeah, I want to become a tidal wave. Yeah. When I go, I don't just want to strike with the arm. Right. Um, which is just purely the power I can generate. Which is what I was doing there. I want to so use body mass. So okay. I'm going to use a step and drag motion. Yep where I'll step and drag and I transfer my body mass into the target. Right. Therefore I'm getting greater dom. Yeah, and, and they've, I can feel that recoil there as it <laughs> go backwards. Yeah. yeah. Do you want another one? Yeah, just one more. Yeah. Just. So again, just nice and relaxed. Yeah. Sorry, I'll move the pad. It's okay. So again. Yeah. You can, yeah, you can really feel it come through the target there. Brilliant. Yeah. All right. And, sorry, yeah, just, yeah. I was going to say, just a quick point for your, you know, your um, viewers here. It's not about saying punching doesn't work. Yeah. You know, punching is brilliant and it it is a lot stronger than a palm if it's done right. Yeah. No doubt about it. But a lot of people punch wrong. Yeah. Um, 
and yeah we're aiming at the average person here not the martial artist not the boxer the, yeah, the average person, person in the street sort of, yeah. so open hand means you know you can learn that in a maybe an hour quite easily yeah whereas to teach someone to punch in a way that's not going to damage their hands yeah uh, it's going to take a long time. Even Tyson broke his hand. In yeah, the street I, I mean, I broke my, I broke this hand twice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it is something that really happens. I mean, this is something that we're going to be teaching on the day course of the psychological yeah. self-protection, uh, the basic strikes at the end of the day, what to do if you can't get out of that situation. So, Absolutely. I'd like to thank Dave for demonstrating Pleasure, that today. Um, hope you've enjoyed the video. Love your questions and feedback. And like I say, it's, this is for people who want, no, don't just want to develop physically but we're very much into the psychology of stuff and you know we're Absolutely. going to be talking about meditation and using hypnosis for fear control and things like that so a real a kind of um, a real zen way of looking at uh, self-defense as well and that calm mind but being able to like Dave's one of his favorite phrases is flick the switch mm. you know and yeah. Dave goes from being a very calm old man of chat to boom switched on straight away and then he reacts so I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, please like, subscribe and share and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks Dave.